All right. Now we'll take some questions for practice on mensuration. Let's take up the first question. It says, what is the area of an equilateral triangle of side 16 centimeter? So let's say the side A is 16 centimeter. Now the area of equilateral triangle, it has a direct formula, which is equal to root three by four into the side square. So it is equal to root three by four. Here the side A is equal to 16. So it is 16 square. Now 16 square is 256. So it is root three by four into 256. Four cancels 256, 64 times. So the final answer will be 64 root three centimeter square, right? Because the side is in centimeter, the area will be in centimeter square. Okay. So the answer of that question is 64 root three centimeter square. If the option says that you have to put the value, then you can put the value of root three as 64 into root three is 1.732. So if you multiply, you will get 110.848 centimeter square, but that is only if it is necessary, if it is there in the options. Now let's take up the second question. It says if the sides of a triangle are 26 centimeter, 24 centimeter and 10 centimeter, what is its area? Now there are two ways of doing this question. One is just take the ratio of the sides. Look at this closely. It is 26 is to 24 is to 10. If you divide by two, it is 13 is to 12 is to third five. Right now, 5, 12, 13 is actually a right angle triangle side, right? This is a Pythagorean triplet. Okay. So the right angle triangle formula, the largest one will be the hypotenuse, right? Here, the largest side will be the hypotenuse. The other two sides will be the perpendicular sides. So clearly the area can be calculated as half into product of perpendicular side. So it is half into 24 into 10. Okay, so two cancels 24, 12 times 12 into 10 is 120 centimeter square. So this is one way of doing this. Identifying that it is a right angle triangle and then apply the formula for right angle triangle area that is half into perpendicular sides. The other method could be the Heron's formula. Now for Heron's formula, we need the semi perimeter. So S is equal to the sum of all the sides divided by two. So it is 26 plus 24 plus 10 divided by two. 26 plus 24 is 50 plus 10, 60 by two, that is 30. And the area formula is given as square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C, right? Now S is 30, so it is 30 into S minus A, that is 30 minus 26, so it is 4. B is 24, let's say this is A, this is B, this is C. So 30 minus 24, it will be 6. And 30 minus 10, it will be 20. Right. So if you multiply, you will get 30 into 20 is 600 into 4 into 6, which can be rewritten as square root of 600 can be written as 100 into 6 into 6 can be written as 36 into 4. Now square root of 100 is 10, square root of 36 is 6 and square root of 4 is 2. So the final answer will be 6 into 2, 12 into 10, that is 120 centimeter square. So this was the other way of doing the same question. All right, now let's go to the next one. Now this question says the perimeter of a triangle is 28 centimeter and the in radius of the triangle is 2.5 centimeter. What is the area of triangle? Now for any triangle in radius formula is equal to area of triangle divided by semi perimeter. Now here it is given that in radius is 2.5. Area of triangle we have to calculate. And the semi perimeter we can calculate because see the perimeter is given 28, right? Perimeter is 28 centimeter. Now semi perimeter is half of perimeter. So P by two, which is 28 by two, that is 14 centimeters, right? So your 2.5 will be equal to area divided by 14. So this gives us area of that particular triangle is 14 into 2.5. 14 twos are 28, 14 half is seven. So it is 35 centimeter square. So this was a good question. Now the next question says a plot ABCD is shown in the figure where AF is equal to 30 meter, C is equal to 40 meter, ED is equal to 50 meter and AE is equal to 120 meter. Let's see, let's identify first. ABCD is this whole thing. This is AB, this is BC, this is CD and this is AD. So whatever is inside that blue line, we have to calculate the total area. Here the lengths are given as AF equal to 30 meter. That means this length is 30 meter. Look at this carefully. This is 30. 
CE, CE is 40 meter. So this length is 40 meter. ED is 50 meter. All right. This whole thing is 50 meter. So clearly, as you can see, it's mentioned here also the CD length, total CD length is 90 meters. Okay. Then it also says that AE in the diagram also it is shown this total length. AE is this total length that is 120 meter. That means this length, this FE is 90 meter. So this 90 is for this one. Find the area of the plot ABCD. Now from the diagram itself, if this length is 40 meter, then this length BF, if CE is 40 meters, then BF also has to be 40 meters. All right. Similarly, if FE is 90 meters, then BC also must be equal to 90 meters. Now, what does it mean? Let's see. The total area will be equal to, I'll write the triangles and the, the, the rectangles. You can see the triangle AFB plus triangle AED plus the rectangle BCEF, right? So the total area can be divided into three parts, two triangles and one rectangle, right? ABF is this triangle. AED is this triangle and the rectangle is here. Okay. Now let's calculate the areas. Triangle AFB is a right angle triangle so that will be half into base into height that is half into some uh, product of perpendicular sides. So it is base is 40 and the height is 30 plus triangle AED. It will be half into base is 50 and the height is the total length that is 120 meters. And the rectangle BCEF one side is 40 and the other side is 90. So it is simply L into B that is 40 into 90 because it is a rectangular area. Now two cancels 40 20 times. So 20 into 30 is 600. Now this two cancels 50, 25 times, 12 into 25 is 300, so it is 3000 plus 40 into 90 is 3600. So if you add all of them, the total will come out to be 36 plus 36, 7200 and the unit will be meter square. So the total required area given in the diagram is 7200 meter square. That's the answer. All right. Now let's go to the next question.